Hello, today we're going to talk about relations. A relation is a set of ordered pairs. Sometimes a relation can be a function. All right, when you have a pair of numbers, so say we have car and um, green. All right, we say this is our point. This is our uh, relation here. So car, green. The car is what is called our domain or our input or simply it's just the x value of that point. The green is called the range. The output or simply just the y value. It's an x, y point, domain, and range. This is going to be important as we go through this and the rest of the year. All right, now let's do some examples of this. So if I say I have the points, the set 2, 4, 5, 6, and 7, 8. Those are relations in my set. All right, what is my domain and range? Well, my domain is all of the X points, or all of the first points for each individual one. So if I wrote this up here, I should've wrote this here. If I said two, five, the domain is always my first number. The range is always my second one. It's always my y value. So if I don't know what the domain is here, I would say 2, 5, and 7. Now what if I want to know what the range is now? Well, it's the y values or the second point of each point. So then it's just four, six, and eight. And that is my domain and range for this particular um, set of relations. All right, example number two. Here we have a set of relations and a set. Uh, what is my domain? Well, the, my domain is still just my first point my x or my domain in each point. So that's relation truck. This one, bike. And now my range is just the second of the points inside. Red, blue, and now I have red again. But since I already have red in there, I do not have to write it again. And that is your domain and range of your relation. All right, what usually goes along with domain and range is what is known as a function. A function is the first coordinate is paired with exactly one second coordinate. So you hear one input has one output, um, stuff like that. What that means is I can't well, the basicness of it is I can have a point one zero, but I can't have another one with something else. This is not a function. What a function would be is if I have one zero, then like six, two, All right? That is a function. It's that simple. The first coordinate can only be paired with one second coordinate. It can't be paired with another one. So this is a function. This is not a function. Now let me show you what I mean by that. So if I had the set of relations negative 2, 0, 3, 2, and negative 6, 5. All right, so if you're asking if it's a function or not, what you're really asking is, do any of the x's repeat? All right, that's the first thing. Do I have 
exactly one X with one Y. So you still have to see if any of your X's repeat. And they do not, so this is automatically a function. All right? Because each of these first coordinates is paired with only one second coordinate. So the negative two has the zero, the three has two, negative six, five, all right? There's no repeating X's, and that's what you're usually looking for. So another example would be if I had Uh, one, two, five, seven, and one, three. Right. Now, does each first pair of points have exactly one second pair or coordinate? So I have a one, a five, and a one. All right, so I have two X's. Now that's fine if they're both paired with the same number. Are both of these paired with the same number? No, they are not. One is a two, one is a three. So this is not a function. So when you find a double of your X value or your domain or your input, whatever you want to call it, if you find a double, so it appears twice in your set, then you need to make sure that it's paired with the same number after that. So, so if this was one, two, and this was one, two, this would be a function, all right? But it's not. You have a one compared with two and a one compared with three, all right? That's like saying, I put a pizza in the oven one time and I get pizza out. The next time I put a pizza in the oven, I get orange juice out. It can't happen. You're, when you put a pizza in the oven, even if it gets burned, it's still going to be pizza. You're not going to put it in there the next time you get orange juice out of it. It's just a matter of thinking there. All right, and another way to show these points is what's called mapping. So basically just two ovals. And these will have numbers off of them, All right? Now, is that a function? Well, is each pair, is each first coordinate, which is, these would be the first one, these would be the X's, those would be the Y. Are they paired with exactly one other number? So one is with eight, so we're good. Two is with nine, yes. Three is with nine, so yes, we're good. Now they could both have the same number over here. Like all of these could be, if I switched it and I said, oh, all right, now the one is, going to the nine, that's fine. It's still a function. They can all have the same output. You just can't have a one, you can't have a one go to the eight and then a one go to the nine. Now this is not a function. This is not a function because you have one eight and one nine, two different things. Now it is a function. All right, this has been relations. I hope it helped and good luck.